Hey there, I there, holder, and welcome to another Narjan Reacts. In this video, we're reacting to the pilot for Lackadaisy. Um, yeah. I was really happy when I heard that Lackadaisy was getting an animated pilot because, um, I remember, I don't know exactly when the first chapter for Lackadaisy came out, the comic, or on DeviantArt, but I would have to have said, say it would have been back in, like, 2012? 13 around that time because I remember being on DeviantArt and coming across uh, a page for Lackadaisy and the art style just immediately drew me in. I didn't read the rest of it because I completely forgot about it um, but I remember reading at the time I think it was only like maybe 15 pages were out and I remember looking at the artist of Lackadaisy. I remember what, uh, looking, I think it was a guy. I remember looking at his um, like expression um he had like a he had posted like a expression board of like different expressions like frowning like grin and all that stuff and i was just really impressed at how good the expressions he drew and i'm like man if they this this would be cool as it like i would be interested to watch this as an animation so the fact we he was finally able to get it made into an animated pilot it may have taken almost 10 years but honestly I mean, if I had a world, like, a world with my OCs and stuff become an animation for a pilot, I would have, I'd be so happy. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm really excited to watch this. Um, so yeah, without further ado, <laughs> I'll save my, rest of my thoughts for afterwards. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> also, real quick, I also know that one of the characters is voiced by Angel Dust original voice actor so that's really cool too uh, but yeah let's go <laughs> fashion lights with women's distribution gun violence non consumption that's the usual fruit for these kind of <laughs> indie projects it seems like i don't think it's gonna be as bad as hell of a boss or uh has been tell though st louis missouri 1927 prohibition is in full effect I feel like I'm gonna really love the animation style and the music. Cause I really I like the music from this time period. If chief among your traits is age, you're a wily convoluted. Oh yeah, I'm already loving the expressions and stuff. Is old the thing to call in the art so. the kings. I like how the circles matching up with the moon. And preponderance of bug type things. Bug type things. To challenge Titans. You must have had to oversee alchemic change of timber beam. That's the ace of spades, isn't it? That's on the bridge. Where's that club? Your umber whiskey waters lent the Interesting seeing the sketch lines uh the within the drawing. Kinda gives it a rough look. Which I actually don't mind. Yes, righteousness is vanity. Yeah, you can see all the lines on that. I like that. That, was, that kind of reminds me of Ed and Eddie. It's abundantly clear you forgot us down here. <laughs> that rhymed. Uh, there's more where that came from. Please don't ruin musical theater for everyone. No. Oh. <laughs> That's a little mean. Alas, Miss Pepper, I was cursed, cursed with these spaghetti arms. So, I do what I can. I provide the- uh... Cats always land on their feet, right? Or not. Did that last leaf just hit his tail? Rocky? Ah. I think I found- <laughs> Is that it? Oh, doesn't oh, mind getting his hands dirty for that part, though. explaining to do to the family of, uh... Herman Hafemfiel? What did that say? No, 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 no. Herman Hafemfiel was struck by a runaway circus, Calliope, near the terminus of Bill Street, where upon in a cacophony of frenzy glee, he was flung bodily into the Mississippi River. Requiring the painstaking efforts of the number 26 firehouse brigade, his remains were later disentangled from the paddle wheel spokes of the SS. Ew. Having been rearranged into an impressive Merovingian knot. What? 
He died doing what he loved, remarked his stoical widow, for, by whom he is survived, alongside a niece and nephew, several southern cousins, a shoe-wearing donkey named Pibbles, and a prized collection of 64 fashionable soup something housed at his West End residence. Services are to be held Monday next at the East City something chapel. Why are these, like, underlined and circled? Under the trust, Herman Heffshield's Biddle 2660. I don't know what that means. And a little drawing at the end. A little doodle. The backgrounds are really pretty. We're trespassing on their turf. But there's not you can do about it, you feisty devils. That owl looked kind of like the one from uh, Bambi. Blasphemy. With the big breasts. <laughs> stop us dead. The tails all puffed up, like true cats. Oh, for a moment there, I thought it was your mom. This a train. Settle down, cousin. This so they are doing up a grave. <laughs> Hundred years past, Burke and Hare were up to much worse. And things well, that fit. Fine for them. Now show me your crowbar skills. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's done well during that time because I'm not a big alcohol person. Right, we've been so discreet up until now. Yeah, I would say singing on the bridge. Now the spirits are afoot. I got it. No, that is my foot. It's not what I meant. I can't see. Ah, there it is. Your cats, don't you see well at night? That's not your light. Them. I love how she's like shooting at the car just to terrify her. Like completely ignores the ones that she could have shot, but it <laughs> goes for the car just to petrify the poor girl. Uh. Aren't you still driving? <laughs> I would think when the bayou you'd sink. I was happy expecting a Tommy gun. Wait, is that a Tommy gun? <laughs> Not the booze. He's trying to protect the booze with his body. It is a Tommy gun. Oh my god! I was gonna say this era would not be fit without a Tommy gun. Put a tie around the lock when that's not the danger, it's the booze being shot. Or do we have to worry about you getting sentimental about old times? So he knows them? I love how Babyface goes from like a sweet, innocent looking to this like <laughs> kind of character. Well, I mean, that's one way to take out the car is just shoot the gas tank. He's gonna shoot once and take him out, isn't he? Yeah, right <laughs> one job, sir. One job, and you just miss your one chance. Doesn't, he doesn't cat well, does he? He just keeps landing on his face. <laughs> you good? Oh, is it playtime now? Do you think we're safe? A burning hot fire in, uh, in, the, in the engine compartment. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, I, I don't want to save. Did you just put accelerant on that? I feel like he snapped. Okay, wait, so this is this the guy always voiced by Angel Dust? Because I know the 
Angel Dust's voice actor has a wide range. Like he's impressively really good at voice acting. I know he's also voicing a character in a video game. Oh, <laughs> the cat eyes like go wide. It's a pew pew. It's a pew pew. I'll draw them away. You start the car. Please. Oh, <laughs> he's so sweet. It's, it's, he's like, ah, I could be like that, but then, please. Bradbury's. What'd you say? Bradbury? What's that ticking noise? He's gonna get shot. Ooh. <laughs> yep, here comes this. <laughs> what the hell is this? Child is a living, cars are stupid. The sudden circus comes to town. <laughs> oh my god. He's had a combination of angel dust and the snake demon. Frickin' what was the cat creature thing from uh the Five of Ghost West? I think it was. Rocky. Rocky, that's all they can say. It's just Rocky. Uh, this is number three for landing on your face. Oh, don't get run over by the freaking thing. Totally as planned. You know how cats love water. <laughs> Make that number four. Wait, so for her he doesn't shoot, but for him he does? Hmm. Are my eyebrows still on? Uh yep. Aces. Here, Freckle. I'd be tempted to be like, I think half your one is gone. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be scared to have a dynamite on, on me too, even if it's not lit. Shit, you look disappointed. The ear flick. He's ear annoyed. What bottle is still the yeah, her face? Meet you downstairs. I'm sorry, was her husband a tiger? Or was it a striped tabby? Miss M. Horatio. The door, sweetheart. Oh, right. Horatio gives me um uh Lieutenant uh the cheetah from Zootopia. Was it Cloud? Clog? Cloud? I forgot the name of the cheetah from. That was like he would be the one at the day's front desk. How's the weather, madam? How about you, Wick? Shall I serenade you personally? Personally. One sec. Victor, I know it's an adjustment, but the bartender's got to look like someone the patronage can tell their troubles to. More of a confidant, less of a. Coroner. Trust <laughs> silent, honey. We'll work on it. That's like having Husk from uh, Hasman Hotel be <laughs> the f f like greeter. JJ. Wow. The sad trombone. Surprise. Thank you. 
This was supposed he takes to be as a the compliment. real McCoy. <sighs> well, I just shattered the glass. Certainly start your engine. Which is to say, <clears throat> it beats radiator fluid. What's that? Ew. Crisp, full body. He's definitely a wine sniffer. Coffin varnish. Yeah. We can Coffin varnish? Sunset Rose cocktail. I have very good an idea. Oh, he's Russian. <laughs> Duh. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> sophisticated flavor. <laughs> Little cat noise. So. And wait, why does bad, she sound like, um... She sounds like, um, was it Mixie? What was the name of, um, Alistair's little side, like, the little, the little spider girl or whatever that, I swear it was Mitzi? Mixie? I forgot her name, but she, the one voicing, um, the girl cat sounds like her. Shot. And considering they've gotten Angel does the voice of character, wouldn't it be surprised me if they got her too. Could probably ring some more out of my coat for you. There was a yeah, no. minor incident, and the car is fine. I fixed it. Also, you'll be happy to is that know a fire? my violin. Uh... Why is he playing the funeral song? Come on, kid. What do you say we go lighten the mood? Uh, about the dynamite. Mm. Why does he sound like Matt Mercer a bit? Can you elaborate? Yep, here's that. Her music. Michael Kovac. Yep, that's him. Valentine's stuff, so okay, it's not what I thought it was. Oh. Stops, fall, rolls. <laughs> oh, the sketches. Oh my god, all the cats that. <laughs> God, even these images are really pretty. Bravo. Maribel Hotel, manager's office. What? Someone mussed your hair? You got some dirt on you? As a matter of fact, yes. But more <laughs> to the point, one of our suppliers appears to be double dealing. Is that a daisy that's burning? Wow, I am made by artists in their homes across the world in spite of it all. That's like, it really is amazing. Cause you know this had to have been produced during COVID and everything. This is definitely not like a year long project, so it had to have been a few year projects. Well, all right then. Uh... So that was lackadaisy. Uh, let me get into my thoughts. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, all right. The plot for this episode. Oh, so they do have a. You know, I was wondering, I'm like, do they have a Patreon? Because do they plan on making future episodes? Uh. Yeah, it's been a. It's been a webcomic since 2006. Has it really been that long? So it may have been even, it may have been even been like 2009, because I know it was in 2006 when I was reading it, because I got into DeviantArt about 2009-ish. So it may have been around that time. Wow. This per, the creator, the creator's been making this series since 2006. God, in, tw in three years, that's gonna be 20 years they've been working on it. That's nuts. Like, that's amazing. Wow. I really hope that they do make a make a series out of this. 
like either they get picked up by a studio like similar to like um Hasbro Hotel or they get the money together from Patreon to make a series out of this like Hell of a Boss has um all right so yeah the plot uh so pretty much it's set during the prohibition period so from what i gather so lack of daisy is its own establishment bar and they're trying to they're trying to like okay what i get from um the owner the lady um she had a husband who probably started it and he either got murdered or he passed away and so she and him had the dream of their establishment being like this place where people come to dance and have fun and drink and all that stuff because during the prohibition period obviously it was during a time when alcohol was not allowed so i'm gonna guess rocky and the girl and um the other guy cat uh i was kind of baby face um They've either been working with her for a while, because from it sounds like she, they've known each other for a while. Um, I kind of wonder if it's where they've been working with her for other stuff, and then she asked them to like run these, uh, to run, um, be booze runners, um, to keep the establishment up. And it seems like at one point, like when at the end, like near the end of the episode, where she said, you know, I might have, like she was hinting towards saying, you know, I might have to give up. But then when she saw Rocky's face, she's like, like she cut herself off and was like, oh, you know, can you play some music and, you know, and that kind of stuff. So, obviously they're an establishment that's barely making it um, and getting ha junk quality booze is not helping. Um, and then you have competition from obviously other bars and establishments. Uh... So, pretty much, I feel like if they were to turn this into a series, it would be them trying to make it and become successful, despite cops and despite rivals and all that stuff. Um. So, I'm gonna guess that the, the three that went after Rocky and them were the rivals? Or they were hired? No, because, um... The one, uh, also it's interesting that they, that she said, you know, past relationships, so he, the one that, um, made the call in the phone booth, he obviously has ties with, I'm guessing, Rocky and the other two, and I found it interesting that he has a say to shoot the girl one, but Rocky, he had no problem, uh, so that tells me either he doesn't like Rocky, but he liked the girl, uh, so, I'm guessing he went his own way. Maybe he didn't agree with it, and so he went his own path and worked for a different establishment. Or he's being a work for, like a, he's for hire. Um, but he's reporting to like a, no, it seemed like he was asking for help from that other guy. Um, who mo probably is his boss. So, still not certain about that situation. Um, but plot wise, I'm definitely interested in it. Like uh, plots, I would like to see where it goes. Uh, characters, they're all interesting. Uh, Rocky is like the. He honestly feels like an he. <laughs> I can see why they got Michael to voice him because he feels very much like an angel dust, but a little more crazier. Because he like has moments where he's kind of like calmer. But then he's also got that crazy, like, throwing dynamites in the air and all that stuff while riding a freaking, you know, machine. <laughs> so, um, and then you have the baby face one, where he also has this crazy moment where he's just like, ah, and shooting the Tommy gun and everything. But then he's, like, really sweet, like, toward the girl cat, where he's like, can you just, please. <laughs> and then the girl cat seems the most chill out of the, gr the three of them. Um... But I like them. Like, I like those three. Um, I liked the the three going after them. They were interesting. Um, I like the lady cat running the establishment. Um, I would like to see more of her husband. Like maybe in flashback or something. He looks interesting. 
but he looks caring like the way like she imagined him putting his hand paw i'll just say paw paw on her shoulder to like comfort her and stuff um uh i like the bartender the russian bartender um i like the one that's the other musician um then you had i think it was gregory the one that was playing the wah 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 like the and he was playing music at the wrong time like right time but just not the right moment <laughs> Um, or inappropriate. It was inappropriate for them. Uh, uh, the one that's kind of like the wine sniffer, like the mmm, yeah, it's kind of character. He's interesting. He was probably the one I, that stood out the least to me. Um, but who's the other one? I think that was it. You had the Russian bartender. You had the guy. The guy that I said was like a wine sniffer. Yeah, the one that other one that plays music, like music or plays. Yeah, he sings or whatever. Um. I'm blinging. Oh, let me look real quick. I think that was it. Okay, yeah, it was it. Um, I like, like, they're, they're all characters I'm interested in seeing more of. Um, and where they could go with this. Um, so yeah, characters, really liked. Animation, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, I really love this time in animation where you're seeing such unique, like, don't get me wrong, we're still getting a unique animation like Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Like, I'm really liking, even though they were kind of like, they were inspired by Spider-Man and Spider-Verse, I'm really liking it that we're seeing more animations come out that are unique in art style. They're not all looking the same. Um, and I really like that because there was a time in animation on TV at least where Shows look different. Each show was different. You had Samurai Jack. You had Courage Cowardly Dog. You had Powerpuff Girls. You had um, and Eddie. Like in the, like I mentioned before, the sketch, the sketchy kind of art style. Not so much the like seeing the the actual like, uh, God, what is it? Not stick figures, but like the circles for their heads, and you see the lines down the middle to, for where you put the eyes and stuff. You didn't see that in an Eddie, but you did see the sketchy lines for their for their outline. It was sketchy. So seeing that in this uh, pilot reminded me of that, but I really like that. Again, it's being different. It's not being the same. And that's why I feel like a lot of big studios are forgotten or they don't care about being creative. It's just if they keep pumping out stuff that looks the same and they're making money from it, why are they gonna change? Instead of them being like, well, we don't have to change, but we could, they choose to go the, well, we don't have to change, we're just, we're not gonna change. Instead of it being, you know, yeah, we could stick with the same, but we're gonna be different. Uh, so I'm glad that we're getting that from independent studios or groups that are producing stuff. So like, I was very excited to hear about this. Uh, Haswin Hotel was amazing. I'm really excited for when that co finally comes out. Um, Hell of a Boss has been great. Um, I don't think there's really, I don't think there's any other, um, like independent shows or pilots or whatever that have come out. I mainly can, all I can think of is Like a Daisy, Hell of a Boss, and Hazard Hotel. Um, and then that, but like Arcane came out from a game company for League of Legends, and that was amazing. I haven't seen the series yet, but just seen some clips of it. Beautiful looking animation. Um, so yeah, like, I'm definitely uh, enjoying the animation right now from, and especially in this series, the backgrounds were beautiful. I love the, like, 30s style the setting and everything um the so yeah, animation uh <laughs> music was great like i know there wasn't any songs so songs not here but the background music bit perfect or no there was a song what am i saying there it start opened up with him with uh rocky singing uh, i don't think that was really meant to be like song song kind of thing it was more like just kind of like lamenting over or like it really it didn't feel like a song song but i know it was a song i don't know how to explain it but like i'm not gonna remember it wasn't very memorable for me honestly the thing that stood out the most for me in this in this pilot was the animation and the character designs i would say that's what stood out to me the most was the background anime in the an background the the backgrounds the animation and the character designs i would say is what stood out to me the most and then the music when they did put in the music was great 
I'm really hoping it's not copyrighted music or music that's owned by like, um, whatever company that claims copyright. I hope it's their own music they made. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, I knew I was gonna like Lack of Daisy, but I love it. I, I really hope like if they do announce that their Patreon, like they'll have the money go toward making like even if it's something like five episodes, ten episodes, a season long, I would be very tempted to support them. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> it was very good. I really liked it. Um, I hope to see more from uh, them in the future. Hopefully it's not something we see in like four or five years, because that's going to be a while. Uh, but yeah, I hope this also kind of kicks studios' booties, like the head-ups, into letting artists be like letting more unique shows come out with unique art styles come out this just shows this has 8.1 million views and this is just the pilot like seriously i wish i just hope you know animation overall just becomes more like this uh but yeah all right that's enough ranting for me when it comes to that stuff like i said really love this episode this pilot hope they are able to make more um and yeah i think that's my thoughts for this pilot i hope you enjoy this reaction if you like really access my full unedited reactions go join my patreon link is in the description and pinned comment below uh but anyway have a wonderful morning afternoon night and keep bringing bright see ya